MPLS TE Explicit Tunnel. In this video, I'm going to talk about the configuration of the MPLS TE with Explicit Tunnel. But in this video, I'm going to use the ISIS as the IGP. You know that in previous scenario, we used OSPF in this scenario. And now I'm going to use the ISIS. Also, as you remember, I configured the explicit pass with one identifier, for example, explicit pass identifier one. Here I'm going to use with the uh, explicit pass with the name, not identifier, okay? And uh, because of that, in this scenario, we will experience two new function. The first is that configuring the ISIS as the IGP. This is the first time we are using the ISIS as the IGP routing protocol in the MPLS TE course. And after that, I'm going to uh, configuring the uh, pass explicit pass with the, uh, for example, pass name, not pass identifier. Let me to start the configuration because here we have uh, so similarities uh, with the, uh, for example, a previous scenario with uh, OSPF, I'm going to use the configuration of that scenario here and after that we can change some of the parameters. Let me start the configuration with this notepad file. This is the notepad file of the MPLS TE explicit tunnel configuration with OSPF. Now we are using ISIS. The first thing is that we need to, uh, for example, configuring a step by step uh, the, uh, for example, uh, configuration here. As you can see in the first step, we need to configure ISIS in all routers and also in all interfaces. Uh, we, we need to use area 49.0000 and the uh, level two only routers only should be used. I, uh, the prerequisites of this course is the ISIS. I need to uh, uh, using the ISIS in this course and you should learn, uh, you uh, should, should have the knowledge of ISIS before then this course. Uh, because of that, we can uh, uh, configure the ISIS without any explanation about the, the detail of the ISIS. If you need, you can watch my video about the ISIS and after that you can continue the configuration of the ISIS in this course. Okay, let me start with the configuration of the R1. Here we have the configuration of the ISIS, router ISIS. Then as you can see, uh, we need to configure net address after that IS type and then metric style should be configured with wide value, log adjacency all uh, and uh, change all. And after that, we need to configure ISIS on the interfaces, IP router ISIS and then ISIS network point to point should be configured. Let me to start the configuration of R1. In R1, we have the confd hostname r1 also here we have traffic engineering configuration we will talk about them but uh, let me to uh, first talk about the interface eth00's ip addressing here we don't have any change and also again we have some configuration about the traffic engineering we will see uh, these uh, commands here but for now let me only configuring the ip router isis and this interface ip router is is okay and after that uh, we need to configure the isis network type uh, the isis network command with the point to point type isis network point to point you know that in isis we have only two network type broadcast and also point to point because this is the ethernet link we need to configure the isis network point to point this is optional but it's better to configuring uh, the isis network point to point also we need the same commands on the interface eth01 of the rotor one uh, rotor one let me uh, to configuring the isis on this interface eth01 also, on the uh, loopback zero, we can configure IP router ISIS and we don't need ISIS network point to point. That's it. And then we need to configure ISIS globally, router ISIS. The first command is net command, net 49 quad zero, because here, as you can see, uh, I, uh, the scenario's requirement is that we need to configure all routers in one area of 49 quad zero. And then we need to configure system ID. System ID can be configured quad zero, quad zero, then zero, 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 one dot zero zero this is the system id of the rotor one and after that we can configure the is type as the level two only because this is the requirement of this scenario and after that we can configure the logging log adjacency change uh, for example all and then metric uh, for example style y this is the configuration of the 
ISIS on the router one, and also you know that we configured IP router ISIS and also ISIS network type on the interfaces. Let me to configure the router two. Okay, this is the router two's configuration. Here we have the ISIS configuration, IP uh, router ISIS, net address is 49, quad zero, then quad zero, quad zero, 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 two, dot zero, zero. Another uh, part are same. Also on the ETH00, okay, on this interface, we can use IP router ISIS and also ISIS network type point point. Look at here. In the ETH00, I'm using the IP router ISIS and also ISIS network point to point. And finally, on the interface ETH01, again, I'm going to configure these two commands on the router 2. This is the router 2. On loopback 0, we need only IP router ISIS. That's it. We configured ISIS and also the IP router ISIS and ISIS network type on the router 2. Let me to copy the ISIS configuration and paste this configuration on the router 3. In router 3 only, we need to uh, change the system ID from 2 to 3. That's it. Again, we don't have... Uh, any change let me to copy the isis uh, network uh, for example ip router isis and also isis network point to point for uh, in r3 we have again two interface eth00 and also eth01 okay we configured these two interface now let me to configure the router 4 with the isis this is the configuration of isis on the router 4 don't forget in the router 3 we need to configure ip router isis on the interface loopback also ip router isis okay in the router 4 in router 4 we can configure router isis the net address is 49 quad 0 quad 0 quad 0 then 0004.00 is type is level 2 only log adjacency changes all and metric style wide that's it and after that on the interface uh, on the interface of this router we need to configure ip router isis and also isis network type point point eth00 of the router 4 eth01 of the uh, for example router 4 this is the eth01 of the uh, router 4 and after that we can configure the for example ip uh, ip router isis on the interface loopback 0 that's it and after that, let me uh, to configure in the router 5, the last router, first configuration of ISIS here. IP router ISIS, the net address is 49, quad 0, quad 0, quad 0, then 0, 0005.00. IS type is level 2 only. Log adjacency change all and metric style wide. After that, we need again to enabling the ISIS on the interfaces of the router 5 copy. In R5, I'm going to use the IP router ISIS and also ISIS network point-to-point uh, -point on the ETH00 and also on the ETH01. Again, here we don't have any difference. And also on the loopback 0 and loopback 1, let me to configure IP router ISIS. That's it. Okay, this is the configuration of the ISIS in this scenario. Let me to continue the configuration. We will check the routing table, uh, for example, after configuring some other features. Let me to continue the configuration. Here in step three, we need to enabling MPLS traffic engineering globally with the IPSAFE and also MPLS traffic engineering tunnels, as you learned in the previous video. And also we have one optional command, MPLS label range, minimum, maximum. Let me to check these three commands. On the R1, IP safe, MPLS label range between 100 to 199. Then MPLS traffic engineering tunnels, it's okay. Let me check the R2. R2, IP safe, MPLS label range between 200 to 199. Then MPLS traffic engineering tunnels, it's okay. After that, R3, IP safe, MPLS label range between 300 to 399. After that, MPLS traffic engineering tunnels, it's okay. And finally, in router 4, again, we have MPLS label range 400, 499, MPLS traffic engineering tunnels. That's it. And then router 5, here we have IPSAF, MPLS label range 500, 599, and then MPLS traffic engineering tunnels. This is the configuration of the MPLS or global configuration of the MPLS TE. Okay, the next step, the step four is enabling MPLS traffic engineering and RSVP in all interfaces with full bandwidth of interface 401 and total tunnels. Okay, interface, interface name, IP, RSVP bandwidth, reservable bandwidth, and then large 
just flu mpls traffic engineering tunnels the next command okay here i am going to configure the uh, for example uh, bandwidth on the uh, interface eth00 you know that in 